everyone, happy Baby Name Monday. I'm Estee, a member of three and huge baby name enthusiast. Every single Monday here on YouTube, there is a new baby name list. So don't forget to hit subscribe to follow along. You may have seen that my channel recently hit 10,000 subscribers and it meant so much to me. And I wanted to do a bit of a giveaway to thank each and every one of you who've watched my video, subscribed. I just absolutely loved hitting that milestone for me. It was really, really, really special. So I wanted to give something back to you and I teamed up with a gorgeous loom creator company, Robin and Bloom. I recently bought this loom and isn't it beautiful for Evelina's room? It's my daughter's name, Evelina Blossom, and it is all hand embroidered. It is so beautiful, very vintage style, very me. And it's created by Ellie at Robin and Bloom. She is a mum, she makes these at home, she is so clever. It's the ancient art of looming. So to celebrate also the giveaway, I'm going to today be doing really rare Anglo-Saxon old English baby names. It has been a long list of research, I can tell you. They're really, really rare and unusual, beautiful names. And also one of you will be winning one of these beautiful, beautiful looms. All you need to do to enter if you would like one is to pop subscribe and entered as a comment down below and also pop over to Robin and Bloom on Instagram. I'm gonna leave a link to them below. There'll be a corresponding picture of me with the loom. We just comment, comment on their Estee giveaway underneath. We will make sure that you have all your names are in the hat and next Monday at the beginning of Baby Name Mondays, I will be announcing the winner of one of these beautiful, handmade, totally unique looms. So Anglo-Saxon names are names really, really old, from around the fifth century, when settlers began to arrive in what we now call England. So a lot of the names are steeped in mythology, a lot of Germanic sounds as well. And they're just so cool at the moment. We're so into this era. Lots of TV shows about it on telly at the moment. And my son's actually studying the Anglo-Saxons at school, so he's mega into it. <laughs> but there are some gorgeous names on this list, and they're so rare and unique sounding. It was tough to even find some facts. So some of them I'll just be telling you the names, but some of them I do have a little info about. And the first one is a boy name and it is the name Oslak. So it's super cool. It's very familiar, isn't it? I thought all of these, I'm trying to pick names that are kind of wearable. You're not going to be like, I could never name my child that. Because it sounds a lot like Oscar. It even sounds quite a lot like Lucas, which are two very, very popular names. And I love the L sound within it. And I also absolutely loved the meaning because it means curious. So isn't that just a beautiful name meaning? It's like stunning all on its own because that's what children are, aren't they? They're just so curious and outgoing. So I love that. It kind of is a very typical Anglo-Saxon name because it is strong. It has a strong K kind of sound to it. It sounds like it's kind of been put together, doesn't it? So a lot of these names, even though they are vintage, people were saying they also were kind of modern and new names because they sound kind of created. They're so, so rare. What do you think of the name Ozlak? I love the nickname Oz. I love the nickname Ossie as well. It sounds very Scandi, doesn't it? What do you think? Next up is a name you may have heard if you watched The Last Kingdom, which is a TV show that's really, really popular at the moment. It is based on Bernard Cornwall's sack series apparently it's a really really big show it's on season three or four isn't it let me know in the comments below if you watch it and a name I loved from it was Aylesworth I think that is beautiful for a girl, isn't it? And actually a few of the Anglo-Saxon names ending in that with, which is a beautiful sound, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Couldn't find a name meaning for this, but Aylesworth was the wife of King Alfred. So she plays this very supporting role to him. She was a real character, lived in a real person. <laughs> and she was never made queen, apparently, because apparently there'd been a queen before, a wife who was made a queen, and she'd accidentally poisoned her husband, the king. So they stripped that title of women for a while apparently back then but Aylesworth is just stunning isn't it? It just sounds really bang on trend to me and not too unusual that we, people wouldn't be able to pronounce it but special. Another quite familiar one but with a quirky sound to it is the name Alodia so it means riches which it sounds a bit like Elodie which is really popular, Ottilie which is coming up the ranks but this is totally unranked and different. Alodia. I think it is beautiful. Now I'm saying it, it sounds a bit like Elodie. <laughs> <laughs> Elodia, I'd say it a bit nicer than that. Um, yeah, it's not old Cockney, but it's a beautiful, beautiful sounding name. There was also a Saint Elodia in Spain. So if you're Spanish, you may know a bit about the Saint. This is such an old name. There is reference to this name dating back as early as year 569, even though probably earlier, and they relate this to an ancient kingdom called Elodia as well. So it's got a 
stunning amount of history to it. It just sounds historical and very romantic and regal to me, which makes sense of its name, Riches. Our beautiful one, two meanings of this, which is gorgeous, there's a girl name again, is the name Arley. Isn't that really nice? And Harley and those names are kind of very popular sounding and the Lee ending is the very nature meaning ending. So L-E-I-G-H is very, very common. We have Everly and all those names, but Arley is slightly unusual, isn't it? And it means from the meadow of the hare. I just love that. I love rabbit emblems. You know that I always say like, oh, I can imagine having emblems that match the name. And that is a beautiful one to have like rabbit symbols. It's really, really trendy at the moment, isn't it, for nurseries. But another meaning of it in Hebrew is promise. So isn't that another gorgeous meaning for it? I just absolutely loved the two meanings together and wanted to share both of them with you. This next one, I didn't think of this as an Anglo-Saxon name, but it was apparently. It sounds quite Greek to me. So probably it was either bought over to old England by Greeks or went back, I don't really know, but it is the name Domino. So I just suddenly was like, oh my gosh, I saw it on a list and just fell in love with it. It is so cool. So it means belonging to the Lord and a domino was a black and white cloak or priest's hood and they think that that probably then went into why they called the game dominoes because of the black and white so I think children will really associate it with the game of dominoes which I love I think it just sounds trendy and the strong O makes it so on trend Dom as a nickname isn't that unusual because we have names like Dominique which are more popular obviously I think of the pizza brand because here in England I guess Domino's everywhere. I ate a lot of Domino's pizza when I was pregnant. So it probably would have been a bit of a joke name for that reason. But I just think it is so, so cool. So it's a female name. There's a designer called India Hicks here in the UK who's very upper class. She was bridesmaid to Charles and Diana actually. So she's part of that, um, that sort of group. And she has a daughter called Domino Carmen, which I just think is so cool, isn't it? So if you're brave enough to go for Domino, would you? So the next name is the name Doretta which means gift from God, and I really liked it. I couldn't find too much information about it, but Etta, as we know, is a very popular vintage name, and Dora is a really, really cool name, and it kind of follows from Domino, but Doretta. Just thought it was a really, really beautiful one, and names ending in A, I know, are super popular. Lots of you asked me, actually, to do a list of names ending in A, and I will do, I will. I've written down all your name ideas, especially from last week, I had tons. Any more, do put them in the comments below. Doretta. What do you think of it? I think it is gorgeous. Next name is another girl name and it's Old Saxon for Princess and it's named Edlin. Isn't that lovely? I've got an Evelina, of course, I'm gonna love this, but Edlin, I think it is stunning. I love the strong D in the middle. These names sound so hipster, unusual, quirky right off the bat because they've got such different types of sounds to other vintage names and you've never heard them before. But I don't think it's hard to spell because we're used to that E-A, aren't we, with Edlin? It's not crazy and it means princess, which is beautiful. Actually, the name Sarah means princess, I'm a Sarah Jane. And I've always loved the meaning princess. I think this is one that would have been contender on my list had I have known about it but there's one more that's actually my favourite. I'll tell you at the end which is my absolute favourite. These names are all quite similar so I've grouped them together. It's the name Eldwin. So another one with the ending in the win which I really really like Eldwin. You know I love L sounding names and I know you do as well so yeah pop this one on your list Eldwin. How gorgeous is it? And it means old and wise friend. I think it could be for a boy or a girl, but I think it's quite male actually, Eldwin. You could definitely get away with it for a boy. The only reference I could find to this is a game called Summoner Wars, which looks like one of these really weird board games, you know, the kind of that you see in like uh, comic shops. There's a family in that called Eldwins as their last name. So it's kind of got a bit of surname, first name cool as well, doesn't it? So it must be an old Anglo-Saxon um, name. But I love the meaning of it. I love meanings that are like about friendship. I just think that you have that special bond with your child, don't you? And it's the only thing you want for them in life often is to have really great friends. And I just think it's a cute little old man name. But yeah, what do you think of it? Next one as well is very similar and it's Ellsworth. So this is more feminine and I wanted to put it on here because it means elf from the willow trees. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for like a fantasy kind of name meaning. It just is beautiful, isn't it? I love like foresty, sounds naturey, doesn't it? It's just a stunning name. And I did think that if you were having twins or if you had sisters, Ellsworth and Willow would be so cool together and it would be elf from the willow tree. Yeah, twin girls, Elswith and Willow. What do you think you would be like my baby name hero? 
So it's a boy named Nex and it is a gorgeous meaning of son of the unspoilt forests and that is the name Holt. Son from the unspoilt forests, I mean could you get more Anglo-Saxon, Old English, it is just cool as anything and Holt. I think it's getting got a bit of that surname as first name cool, doesn't it? It's very easy to pronounce and to say, just got to be aware of the meanings of it because Holt with an A is obviously stop. Holt in German means get and it's probably come from sort of a German background potentially. I like the fact that it's that one syllable strong name, a bit like coal and things like that that are becoming really, really popular but Holt hasn't yet broken through and I think it would be very very wearable, really stand out and be cool in a playground. There's a market town in Norfolk called Holt which you may be familiar with. What do you think of it? I really 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 like it and I've seen it on one baby name forum. One mum had chosen it for her son so it is out there by one person. <laughs> Next up is a name I loved actually and considered putting on my baby name list if had Evelina been a boy and that is the name Kip. I just really liked it. I actually knew a guy at work who had a son called Kip and I was like, that is the coolest name. It means from the pointed hill. And he had two nicknames. names. He had Heath and Kip. He was very cool. But yeah, Kip is lovely. But apparently it is an old Anglo-Saxon name and was used a lot back then, which is really, really interesting. They seem to have these very nature meanings. I guess it was to group people and to put them in a location, wasn't it? So from the pointed hill, he'd be called Kip. There's a few interesting things I found about the name Kip. One is that if you're Australian or if you have family in the forces, on Anzac Day there's a traditional game called Two Up. Do you know anything about this? And the little shaker is called a kip. I thought that was a really nice um, meaning as well. The reason it put me off using kip is because it means a short nap here in English, like slang. I'm just gonna have a quick kip, means go off to sleep for a little bit. And while I would love to go off to sleep for a little bit, I wondered if um, that made the name sound a bit strange. And in Scotland, apparently it literally is slang for bed. So he's still in his kip, you can say. That means he's still in bed. I looked into why that was because I love researching why slang words have come about and I discovered a bit of a dodgy past for this which is Kip is Danish for a brothel, <laughs> a place where you might go, um, yeah, <laughs> for spend some time in a bed and have a short nap. So that is where it originates from so it's quite interesting so if you are going to choose this name if you've got any Scandinavian relatives like I do as well that probably wouldn't have gone down so well over in Denmark. It is known as a very upper class nickname in America where it is nicknamed for things like Charles, things like Kipling and so it does have that heritage. It's just a really interesting name but if you've never heard of it, maybe you like it, does this put you off? Giving you the name that I'm taking it away with this dodgy background. <laughs> Another few that I haven't found too much about, Quenna, which meant queen. Back in the Anglo-Saxon times, Quenna. I absolutely love Quinn. is obviously really, really popular at the moment. But actually, if you love that, maybe someone's pinched it, then trump them with Quenna. Sheena is a beautiful name. I might add this on another list as well, actually, because I absolutely love it so much, and it means God is gracious. So that was a beautiful Anglo-Saxon name, or a name that was around in the Anglo-Saxon times, but I feel it's moved on from that time as well. Sounds a bit less of the era, doesn't it? A tiny bit Sheena, but it's just so pretty. I wanted to make sure you heard it here first, but yeah, watch out for another baby name list to come where I'm going to add it in again. I love this next name, and it is a boy name, I think. I think it could go either way, but I love it for boys, and that's the name Shepley. Isn't it lovely? And it's another one of those that means from the sheep's meadow this time. And I've looked at so many nature name lists and I haven't seen these on there. And I know shepherd is becoming quite popular. Shepley, I just think is really, really lovely. So I've always loved that L-E-Y ending. And there's some gorgeous name history around this. It's very much used as a surname. So you can, I guess there's all that data and you could do longer research if you wanted to choose the name into it. But apparently it was brought to England. The Shepley family was quite well known and they might migrated to Yorkshire, West Yorkshire, when people were inhabiting England. And I also found some records from ships that a family, the Shepley family, travelled over to Australia as well on a ship called Bamboo in 1848. So that was really interesting to see these little name logs of this big Shepley family who all did that migration as well. So maybe there's some Shepleys over in Australia as a strong family background as well. But it's originally an old Anglo-Saxon English name. And it's just a lovely one, isn't it? I love it, it's from the Sheep's Meadow. It sounds bang on trend as the surname is first name again, but a really lovely one. And this last one is another boy's name and it is the name Tor. 
I've always liked the name Tor. I actually know a Tor, which is funny. And I always thought it sounded quite Scandinavian, but it's Anglo-Saxon, it's Old English, and it means from the Watchtower, which is so Game of Thrones, isn't it? Like protective, very cool name. It sounds a little bit like Thor, which is a bit maybe pushing it out there a little bit. So reining it in with Tor is really nice. And I like the way it's spelt as well. It's very easy. I remember it really suited one of Finn's little buddies. Oh no, it was Freddie's little buddy called Tor. Um, and I always really, really liked it. I never asked her why she chose it actually, but I should have done it if she knew it was an old Anglo-Saxon name and this meaning. But I love the meaning of it. I love the Watchmen theme. It's very, very cool, trendy, very strong and masculine, but totally unique and rare at the same time. So those were my very rare, unique, old English baby names. Let me know which you like best in the comment below. I said I was going to tell you my favourite and it was, I really fell in love with the name Elswith. I really fell in love with it. I don't know, I think it was the Elswith and Willow twins <laughs> that sold myself on it. So please don't forget that we are also celebrating the ancient art of looming by giving away one of these gorgeous personalised custom made looms by Robin and Bloom. You can put anything you like on it. It ships globally so you can enter Enter from anywhere in the world, just write subscribed and entered in the comments below. And don't forget to head over to Robin and Bloom on Instagram. Her link will be right at the top of the comments below. And make a little comment, SJ Comp, on the corresponding picture of me holding this loom over on her Instagram. She's absolutely lovely and these looms are really, really affordable and gorgeous considering she makes them all by hand and they're so pretty. Thank you so, so much for mine, Ellie. I absolutely love it and I'm excited for one of you guys to get one. Take care, happy Baby Name Monday and let me know what you think of the names in the comments below. Don't forget to share with a friend who you think might love to win a loom or just love these baby names and come on, join us over here on Baby Name Monday. What out later on the week where I will be sharing with you our family trip to Canterbury which is one of very very old English cities isn't it um it's actually where I used to live where I met my husband and we recently went back so I have filmed our whole trip there and that will be up later on in my channel thanks guys and thank you again from the bottom of my heart all 10 or 11 and a half thousand of you now that have subscribed you're making your mummy very very happy <laughs> bye everyone